Hi, it's Sylvia Massey. Welcome to the Microphone Museum. Today we're experimenting with sound. So today we're going to talk about germanium transistors and the differences of sound that germanium has depending on temperature fluctuations. Now, vintage fuzz pedals use germanium transistors, but this was changed to silicon because of the differences in temperature affecting the sound of the fuzz. So to keep it consistent, they changed to silicon. So vintage fuzz pedals typically will have germanium transistors, and there's something special about them, and we're going to explore that today. And we're going to actually embrace the idea that these uh, pedals change character with temperature. All right, so just to start, uh, room temperature, we have two pedals here. One is a Park Fuzz, which is made by Earthquaker, and this is a recent, this is not a vintage pedal, this is a recent pedal that uses germanium transistors. And then we have the Effect pedal, my favorite, Afterneath pedal, just for fun, so we can do something with it. I'm going to record everything we do. We're running through this little Bugera head and into my Tone Tubby cab. I'm recording it with a, a vintage MD21 Sennheiser microphone. I'm just hanging it over there, and let me get my Pro Tools running right now. All right, and now I'm gonna start this uh, Roland SH-101 and just gonna make noise with it, and then I'm gonna play with the pedals to create melodies and some color. All right, the amp is warming up. I'm going to press my hold button, and here comes the tone from that. Now that's without any pedals. Now I'm going to add the park fuzz at room temperature. All right. And it's a deep kind of sound. You can adjust the treble with it and the amount. It's kind of a nice fuzz. And now I'm going to add the afternoon. That's a nice sound, but now what happens when we use the park fuzz sound that has been cooled down, say, in a cooler of ice? Well, let's just take a look at that. I'm going to move these out of the way, and I have an ice cooler. I have several things on ice in here. We have some hot dogs, but we'll use those later. And I've got a uh, hoof reaper. Uh, and a cloven hoof, and an, an eruptor. But I'm looking for the park. Here we go. This park is an Earthquaker park fuzz that's been in, in the ice overnight, so it should be cooled down really well. And let me just make sure I keep it dry as I take it out of its sealed package. Ooh, it is cold. All right. I'm going to just make sure it's nice and dry here. And now that is our park on ice. OK. And we'll swap it out with the room temperature. Let me just turn that off here. Room temperature park. All right. And now we're retiring the room temperature, and we're going for the frozen fuzz. All right, I'll just put this over here. OK. Oh, yeah, that's cold. Now let's see what this sounds like and see how different it is now when it's frozen as opposed to when it's room temperature. Here we go. Start this guy up.
what happens if I start heating up the pedal? This is when it really gets interesting, right? Okay, I'll get my sound going and then we're going to use the pedals across the signal and then heat it up as we're doing it. So let's see what we can do here. There we go. That really did morph into something completely different as it warmed up. So this gives you a few ideas to try in your next session. If you've got a germanium uh, fuzz pedal and you want to have some fun, go ahead, heat it up or cool it down and see what it does for you in your session. Three, two,